Hi, I'm going to talk about experimental game spaces today. In particular, I'm thinking about a survey of ways in which games help us think about, be in, and effectively relate to space uh, differently. I'm coming at this from a background of thinking about game spaces as environments, so 3D experimental games such as uh, nature, uh, simulators such as Proteus, um, lands uh, lush landscapes such as Eidolon, which nevertheless bring us into relationship to these abstract architectures and uh, uh, human remnants. Um, <clears throat> narrative works like Dear Esther that immerse us in a geography that contains this combination of remnants, but also both um, geography and uh, geology mixed in with dreamscapes. Uh, submerged in water, we find a vision of a hospital gurney on a big section of abandoned freeway where an accident has happened. So um, players have relationships to in-game architectures. Uh, some of these examples um, may rework their relation to space itself. The game Against the Wall stages all of its built environments, this is a prototype, against a gigantic wall um, where you, can, um, uh, you have a different relationship to the sky. Um, parkour type games such as Mirror's Edge series uh, create a cityscape in which you have a very active engagement with the environment, um, moving through a landscape that's meant for climbing. And even in works that bring you into a sort of a, a more um, uh, awestruck relationship to, uh, to um, architecture, such as Shadow of the Colossus, we encounter creatures which are both monsters and at the same time buildings. And in fact, we climb them. Um, so architecture can be a mystery. For those of you familiar with Mist and the Mist series, some, one of the major questions is, who built this? What is it for? That is, what is structuring space with what agenda? And in more recent experimental games, such as The Unfinished Swan, the architecture itself is a mystery. All, everything is pure white, and you use your ink cannon in order to reveal uh, the space that is there. Um, so uh, some of these spaces are meant to evoke uh, the sublime uh, awe, as I mentioned, in works such as Cairo, uh, where we come into relationship to truly vast spaces. Uh, in Dead Core, we traverse these gigantic, uh, spread out architectures. In naissance, we come into relation to complex and enormous landscapes of uh, built architecture. Some of these spaces are impossible, coming from uh, traditions such as the portal platform puzzler. Um, I'll skip a couple more of those and just say that those impossibilities may be perspectively based. The trees are both in front of and behind the car. They may involve four dimensions, such as the four-dimensional um, work at an axis. And they may draw on impossible geometries, such as the Pembroke Square that inspires works like Echochrome, The Bridge, Back to Bed, and Monument Valley. Uh, to conclude, um, uh, we're reinventing space with game space, and experimental game spaces offer new ways of imagining relating to and moving through 